Thanks for joining me at Margaret Lalique's Kitchen. Today we are going to make okra stew. Okra has a lot of health benefits. It's rich in vitamin A and C, as well as antioxidants that helps reduce the risk of serious health conditions like cancer, diabetes, stroke, and heart disease. Okra is also a good source of magnesium folate. Even though it's summer and you can find okra in farmer's market, I'm going to use the frozen one because those are miniature uh, okras and I love the taste of this. So I usually make my okra stew with this. First, I cut and prepare all my ingredients. I cut a stripe on the eggplant and I cut it in one inch equal Portions. I cut the peppers to equal portions too. If you have colorful peppers, use them. It will give a lot of taste to it. I have washed and drained okra and also I dried it with paper towel. I'm adding it to the hot pan and I'm trying to uh, evaporate all the liquid. Then I will add the vegetable oil. The reason I'm not adding the vegetable oil first because it will splash all over. Since the okra is um, it contains water in it, it was frozen, it will splash. Therefore, I'm trying to evaporate as much water as possible. Then I'm going to add the uh, vegetable oil. This is a perfect vegan summer meal. Uh, sometimes we make this with beef. You can also add beef to this, but if you, you're vegan, this is perfect vegan dish. Like I said, you can add colorful peppers. It will taste very good with this. I had only yellow peppers today and I'm adding yellow peppers. And always cut at, um, in a portion that it will fit into your um, spoon. I think the liquid pretty much evaporated. Now I'm going to add the vegetable oil. I'm adding half a cup of vegetable oil. And if there is a need later on, I will add more. Now I'm trying to fry uh, the okra. This way, if you fry it, it's not going to be slimy. If you're using the uh, fresh oil, okra uh, to prevent it from being slimy you can soak it in a lemon water so squeeze some lemon in the water and soak it in a lemon water then drain it and cook it Now I'm adding one cup of pre-cooked garbanzo beans and I'm uh, trying to cook it together. I usually cook garbanzo beans, drain it and keep it uh, in the refrigerator, freeze it in plastic bags and use it as I need it. I'm adding diced white onions. I'm using half a medium sized onion. I'm also adding four cloves of finely chopped garlic. At the end, I'm adding the aubergines. I'm stirring it in the beginning, but later on I'm going to shake it so it will stay intact. At this point, you can add a little bit of lemon juice, but since my mom doesn't like lemon juice in the stew, so I'm not going to add it. I'll put it on the side and add it later on when I'm serving it. I'm adding half a cup of vegetable oil since uh, eggplants absorb all the oil, so I'm adding more. It looks a little dry to me. Mm -hmm. 
This is my mom's recipe. She, she learned it from her mom, from my grandma. And I love this stew and I want to share it with you. I'm also adding the yellow peppers. Any pepper would work, any colorful pepper would work with this. Just cut it to the size of your uh, spoon, so it will be a spoon size. I'm using two cups of crushed tomatoes. Uh, this is canned crushed tomatoes. You can also use uh, fresh tomatoes. But since I had the can opened already and I used the other half for something else, I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm using canned tomatoes. Like I said, you can use the fresh tomatoes, it will be even better. I'm adding four cups of water. I don't like mine to be too soup-like. I want it to be a stew. Uh, you can add water as much as you want, but I like mine to be thick. I'm also adding all the seasonings, salt and pepper. I'm pretty much adding salt, red pepper and black pepper. That's all the seasonings that I'm adding. I'm also adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. At this point, I'm turning the heat up until it comes to a boil. Now it starts boiling. I'm turning the heat down and I, it's going to simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes. At the end, you can also add chopped parsley, but I don't want to put parsley in mine. So it's your preference. Our stew is ready. I'm going to turn off the heat and wait another half an hour and serve it after half an hour. We usually serve this hot and we have pilaf on the side of this. It could be a rice pilaf or bulgur pilaf whichever one you prefer uh, and it's a very satisfying meal i hope you enjoy it there we have it okra stew with armenian recipe enjoy it if you like my recipe please hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching me have a wonderful day wonderful week and wonderful life bye bye